Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to film my sketchbook toss. There's about 21 of them, so this video could get quite long. But luckily, most of them are just like doodly stuff. A lot of them are quite thin too, so it shouldn't take too long to flip through those. Also, a lot of these are unfinished. Some of them are like my doodle sketchbooks, so I just draw in them when I want to scribble things down. The reason why I improved so much between 2013 and 2016 is because I just <laughs> I drew a lot. I think I gained a lot of my mileage from that, and um, that's helped improve my overall drawing. Of course, you have to supplement with like studying and stuff, but I always drew for fun, like as a hobby. So this is the result of that. I'll try and do it in chronological order, but I actually I have no idea really which ones, apart from like maybe the first two, which are these two. Can't remember the exact order, so just bear with me as I figure it out. I'll also put all the sketchbook details in the videos. Talk about the paper for each one. And um, I'll try and talk about the drawings in, in these, but I, I don't know how much I'm going to remember. Yeah, let's dive in. Thank you for tuning in and hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, so one of the reasons why I'm starting with 2013 is because prior to that, I hadn't drawn traditionally in a long time. And also I actually stopped drawing completely for a couple of years. So it was kind of like a restart for me. Um, I was doing a lot of catch up and really wanted to focus more on art and just improve in general and have fun. This was the first sketchbook I ever ever completed. Before before this I would used to just draw on like loose sheets of paper. So this is a Moleskine sketchbook. I think it's just the regular sketchbook paper. Off-white, very smooth, good for ink and pencil stuff. Not so good for what wet media. Because there's about 20 sketchbooks to go through I'm not going to say too much on each drawing. This was Inktober, I remember, 2013. Inktober really helped me solidify drawing in my sketchbook. This was a trade with Grace. It was also the year that I first joined Instagram. Back then, Instagram was pretty quiet. There weren't a lot of artists on there. Yeah, I remember really liking this one. Uh, I think that was Windsor and Newton ink. See how it doesn't it doesn't really adhere to the page very well. So this piece, um, I'm actually really proud of it. I remember spending about five hours on each drawing. To me, it represents the fact that I need more patience with my drawings these days. I got, I got less patient as the years went on. Um, Luke and Luck. These are OCs that I made with CP. We made them around 10 years ago. Sorry, I just have to skip through these because 20 books, I, have, I don't know how long that's going to take. <laughs> I don't want this to be too long. My brother drew this one. He's quite into doodling, or well, he used to be. He's quite good at it too. Like this is <laughs> this is so cute, the little hammer, hammerhead character, hammerhead shark character. Yeah, I really like that. Oh, this is a live drawing of my sister. It's a very accurate portrayal of her. So that was the first ever sketchbook that I completed. The next one is this one. So this one is a um, Handbook & Co travel log. The paper is, it's got a bit more grain than the Moleskine and it's, yeah, it's good for wet media too. I think in this sketchbook, I wanted to experiment more. I think this is the first piece of merchandise I ever designed. Uh, it was a child wiper. I'll try and find a picture of it. Oh, this is an awkward horizontal sketchbook. I feel like Instagram played a huge part in me trying to keep up with this sketchbook.
there will be a lot of ping pong in the sketchbook. Um, if you've never seen ping pong the animation, I highly recommend it. There's also a manga. Uh, it's by Matsumoto Tayo, who is the creator of Tekken Kingcrete. Really love his artwork. But the story of ping pong is, is very heartwarming and it's, it's like a coming of age anime. I think I drew this about one or two episodes into the series. And also Masayusa, Masaka Yusa, so his name. The director of ping pong is very prestigious. He directed um, Mind Game and he's also directed the new anime that's on Netflix. I remember during this time I was trying to improve my pen work. This is Mario Matosi. I don't draw him anymore. Sorry, son. This is a ping pong thing I did using Tri Plus Fineliners by Stabler. I actually drew this straight in pen, surprisingly. So this is all characters from Ping Pong. I started with this drawing and then I drew around it. I've also made this into a bookmark. Very doodly stuff. Oh, okay, this is another spread that I did, also Ping Pong. Um, this is the other side of the bookmark. This was drawn by my friend Anne. We've done a lot of conventions together. If you've seen um, my MCM Comic Con vlog, then you'll, you've already seen her in that. She's really sweet. I think these were thumbnails for my ping pong zine. Is that a surprise that I have a ping pong zine? Oh, I can show you it after. If I'm going too quickly, I really do apologize. I've just got a lot to get through. I color this one, I painted it. It's in my zine. Okay, let me get my zine. Okay, so here it is. This was my first ever zine. I made it in 2014. I was super proud of it. That's the cover. It's called Heroes and Robots. And it's a ping pong zine. Oh, so those are the two spreads you've just seen. But yeah, I'm just gonna quickly flip through this. I know it's not my traditional sketchbook. Oh, here we go. So this is this drawing. I changed the perspective a bit. Kind of fixed the drawing. Oh, these are the days where I used to use a lot of whiteout because I would draw um, in pen, straight in pen. I heard it was the fastest way to improve your artwork and I think it's actually true. You've got to be very methodical. More triplus fineliners. These are studies from the manga. These are the designs I made for this page. I'm actually surprised they're in here. Yeah. More zine planning. This is also in my zine. So yeah, um, I think the sketchbook was a lot of experimentation in terms of brush pen and inks. Not so much in terms of colour. I'm not a colour person. I actually have a whole sketchbook full of ping pong drawings, which I'll show you next. Here it is. This is the Derwent A... I don't know what size this is. But this is a Derwent sketchbook. It's a soft... No, it's a hardback cover, but it's a, a soft material. It's slightly smaller than A5. I really like this size. I have a couple other sketchbooks this size. 
The paper is really thick, it's white, and it's good for wet media, it's good for mixed media. Yep, so in 2014 I started this one. Just a whole bunch of ping pong stuff. I'll try and be brief. I think ping pong really helped me um, help me with drawing hands because it forces you to learn the different types of paddle grips they have. These ping pong stickers are ones that I made. Yep, that's it for that one. On to the next one. I think it might be this one. I have no idea. I'm just picking up whichever net is next on the pile. Uh, 2014, so we're in the same year at least. This is, sorry, this is a Lictum, Lictum, 1917 sketchbook. This is their regular sketchbook. It's white paper, it's smooth. Um, I wouldn't say it's good for wet media, better for pen and ink. I just drew a lot of stuff, just getting that mileage. It does help, I really like this page. Yeah, I think the best thing I did during this time is just forcing myself to get through the drawings. Even if they weren't always successful. Yeah, a lot of this is just scribbles, more scribbles. This is the cover of my first sketch log. This one. Just a lot of random scribbles. I think um, from here on, my, most of my sketchbooks look like this rather than the first two. Yep. And that's it for that one. It's the fourth sketchbook so far. Okay, so this is the fifth sketchbook. From this point, I'm pretty unsure about the order of things. Sometimes I'll be drawing in two sketchbooks or three sketchbooks at a time. So it could be in any order now. This is a Sea White of Brighton sketchbook. These sketchbooks are super cheap, so they're really good for just random doodles. I think these are all pen drawings. This one's going to be brief. <laughs> I feel like there's a difference between doodling and drawing to make something look good and look finished. There's two different mindsets there. You're either drawing for the outcome or you're just drawing for the process. Of course, everybody's different. It's not always nice to see yourself making bad drawings, but just get it out. It's got to come out some somewhere. But I think doing it this way it trains your hand-eye coordination. Depends how methodical you're being about it. But yeah, like I said, I would not advocate anyone learning this way. It's the long way. I'm going to go through this one next, which is also a small sketchbook. So, this is also a Handbook & Co. travelogue. They have a lot of sizes. It's a really good brand. Um, and drew me this. So cute. This is similar to the just the last sketchbook. I think this is unfinished. An abandoned lost sketchbook. Does it fit this way? Habits die hard, it's very true. That's it. Oh, by the way, this is a pitch sticker made by my friend Billy. It's so cute. Okay, I'm just gonna go through a lot of doodly things now. I don't know what order these are in. And um, this is a Muji's grid paper notebook. This one. So it's not really drawing paper, so I just use it as gesture practice. But yeah, I guess you'd call this like a junk sketchbook. I think it's always really important to have sketchbooks like these. 
Um, I just realized I missed the sketchbook. This sketchbook is a Moleskine um, regular drawing sketchbook. It's an A4 size. This was given to me by two of my good friends in 2010 actually, but I didn't have the heart to use it for a while because it's such a nice sketchbook. A lot of my emo doodling and crap um, and then I didn't use it again until 2013 so these pencil drawings were done in 2013 and then I also went back and just scribbled in it because I had the mindset of if I if I always want to do a nice drawing in it I'm never going to use it so I just ended up doing these type of practice scribbles which I kind of feel bad about because it's such nice paper <laughs> But at least it's like being used, right? A4 is too big for this. Um, here I did some anatomy studies, learning proportions, muscles, notes, more ping pong stuff <laughs> with brush pen. Oh, ping pong! I'm so predictable! <laughs> yeah, so this is what it amounted to. Even now, I haven't finished the sketchbook. I have way over half of it left. Maybe two thirds. Uh, here are drawings from 2016, so I suppose I realised I need to draw in it again. I will use it one day. Uh, anyway, I want to discuss uh, keeping um, two sketchbooks at the, on the go. I always recommend doing this because you can keep one sketchbook pretty and then pretty and then the other sketchbook you can just practice in and doodle and make loads of mistakes or plan stuff. So this is the type of sketchbook I like to use. These are from Paper Chase. They're actually surprisingly good quality paper and are not too expensive as well. I really like this type of cover because it shows that you can just make a cover out of anything and it doesn't have to be fancy at all. So um, this is the oldest one I have that I've kept. I know I've had a few others, but I haven't always kept them. Sometimes I just recycle the whole block. So these are the type of drawings that are in here. Kind of similar to what you've seen just now. Okay, yeah, here I was learning the type of grips for uh, ping pong paddles. I remember I started this sketchbook just randomly. I picked a random page and then that's every time I draw on it, I just open it at a random page and draw in there. So much doodly stuff. <laughs> this must be around 2015, this area. Yeah, here. I was actually clever enough to date it here. Oh, this is my OC character chart. Yeah, these are block and break at the bottom. This was the 100 hand challenge that I did with Amy. Take a minute to do each one. It was a very, very good exercise to do. It would force myself to like make up the shapes really quickly. So yeah, I have a couple more of these, but they're more current ones, um, so probably not worth showing. More of the same stuff really. This is a sketchbook that I've had since high school that I ripped out all the old high school pages from. I ripped out all the pages here and I've just used it as kind of an experimental thing. I haven't finished this one, surprisingly. I, I forget how many I have unfinished. This was Inktober for me, 2014. I did it in a, a long format like this. I made this sketchbook. I bound it myself. Um, with just staples so it would fit in my Midori travel journal which is here if you don't know what the Midori system is it's quite interesting and what it is essentially is just this piece of leather and you can insert different types of books and things 
be using these elastic bands and they're primarily used for like journaling. I always um, had like a sketchbook insert as well and I also used to do a lot of bullet journaling. I have another one of these. Where is it? Here it is. This one was made by Happy Scrappy, which I'll link below. So this is 2016. I'll show you this first. I haven't gotten very far in this one. I like how it opens up into a square. But I bought this little archival thing which holds a bunch of the sized uh, sketchbooks. I hope I can fill more of these ones out in the future. So 2014 Inktober, cast your mind back to 2014. Three years ago, it was crazy. More than that. A lot of these sketches are in my sketch logs, which I'll show you at the end. Used a lot of mixed media and ink. Similar to um, Dayla and Rowney's graduate paper, which is surprisingly cheap and good quality. I really like that paper. So this took roughly a month for me to complete, which is good. Hopefully I can do another one for another five. So this is the next one that we'll go through. So this is a Molesky sketchbook. It's not as, um, the paper isn't as thick as the journal styles and it's also perforated along the edge here. So you can rip stuff out. I think I've ripped quite a lot out of here. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of leg stuff here. <laughs> Yeah, just a bunch of pencil stuff in there. It says pen and ink, but it's not true. Uh, this is also a sketchbook that I made, just a little one. It's around A6 size, palm sized. Uh, this is a tape by Maru T. Bitterman. It's so cute. I think I finished this in two days. <laughs> it was one of those just super quick ideas that I had. I wanted to see how much I could fit in. I remember I wasn't feeling very great about my work and I always think the best way to get through a block is to just push through it and draw as much as you can, get as much crap out as you can and you might surprise yourself and draw something you actually like. So that's my advice. So this was like a get out of an art block type of book. Okay, well, I think we're back in 2014 here. So I finished this, in, started it in 29th of August and finished it on the 1st of December. That's around September, October, November. Uh, three months-ish. I don't think I was solely working in this one. I think, okay, I've cut up a lot of the pages. Um, yeah, I don't think I was solely working in this one. I think I had a couple of the other ones going at the same time. More brush stuff. I can't go through some of these. I'm trying not to be too critical of my work and um, because a lot of these drawings are like three years old but yeah there's just a lot of things I could say. But I'm, I'm mostly proud of myself for just drawing a lot since I, I had a lot of catching up to do. trying to make up for the fact that I hadn't drawn for two years so I just drew as much as I could like constantly oh brick this is my OC brick I've drawn a lot of him this year mostly digital stuff you may recognize him most of my drawings are very self-indulgent more block and that's it some stuff in here I remember um, at the end of 2014 having so many sketch sketchbooks and thinking what can I do with these and so that's why I made my sketch logs in the first place. These two will probably be the most exciting to look through. This one is my most recent sketchbook that I finished and this one is a sketchbook I like to call my copy and paste sketchbook. 
Um, I guess we'll go through this one first. Yeah, Artway Doodle Sketchbook. This is also the same brand as my current sketchbook, which is here. I really like the paper in here because it's a mixture between probably the Derwent paper and it's the same size as the Derwent sketchbook. If you remember, this is my ping pong sketchbook. It's slightly smaller than A4, A5. But the paper is a mixture of the Derwent paper, but it's off-white, which I prefer, and it's it kind of feathers, you know. It's not. I wouldn't say it's good quality paper. I would say it's not good quality paper, but I I like it because it makes me less precious about drawing in it. Even though I'm not very precious with any of the sketchbooks I draw in, as you could probably tell. Um. Anyway, yeah. Let's try. Let's have a look. So this sketchbook took me a whole year to finish. I think one of the biggest factors is because I got an iPad during 2016 in January and I've drawn a lot on that since then and kind of neglected my sketchbooks. But uh, near the end of 2017 I've been trying to draw in my sketchbook more. I really miss it. I think um, my drawings improve a lot and when I draw traditionally. I want to experiment more with colours and washes and also gouache paint. Gouache paint is something I'm very interested in trying. I tried it a little bit recently, but <laughs> I need to make more time to do it. I still love the look of this drawing. Um, it's still something I'm trying to improve because I think my draftsmanship in terms of traditional um, is not as good as it used to be. So gotta work my way back up there. More drawings by Anne. This is um, drawn by my friend Kiwi, who lives in Poland. We went to stay with her. I remember we went to a cat cafe. <laughs> yeah, this is the year I started to get into Kingsman, so there will be a few things littered around. This drawing is by my friend Lisa, and she drew me these eggsies. Ink stuff, I think I was trying to draw in pen again. Look <laughs> how backwards these drawings are. The consistency improves slightly, and um, still not really there. Many different planes of the head. <laughs> these are kind of funny looking now that I look at them again, but they're good to do. Oh, I can show you. Can you see how it bleeds, how it feathers? It doesn't bother me at all, but it would probably bother you if you want to do higher quality work. But it's good for sketching. You know what? I don't remember half of these drawings. This is my doodle life. More ping pong. This was drawn by my friend Zaru. We met up with her as well when we were in Poland. That's it. I guess it gives you an idea of the amount I draw. Or <laughs> well, mostly doodle. I don't I don't draw guys. Do I draw? No. Do I doodle? Yes. This is a Kanzen 180 sketchbook. The inception of the sketchbook is basically I didn't like the paper. Um, the paper is super thin. Not really to my taste in any way. Yeah, just don't like it. I know some people like it, I don't like it. So I decided to use it as my cotton paste sketchbook. Uh, this is um, Exy's Jeremy Scott jacket, but it's washi tape, designed by Cruzier. This is washi tape designed by Roll Roll. This is a Ray sticker, Then we're so blessed that she draws Kingsman. And this is my own little Harry sticker. And then in the back is another Ray sticker. Uh, these two stickers are by my friend Ellie, who I met at MCM one year. Such an amazing artist, so hardworking and really, really inspirational. And um, this is an XZ drum by my friend Kit. Um, this is a little uh, Harry by CPU. This is a sticker by Lily and Grace. Uh, I, I always get um, stickers from this artist. Um, they're always at conventions and they just do random like superhero stuff. This is by Irie. Can I check her out? This is my own Percy Lot uh, sticker. 
And these two are by Chive, I think. And I don't know where the egg sticker's from, but I appreciate the egg sticker. I don't know why this is my only decorated um, sketchbook. I think it's just because I tend to go through my sketchbooks pretty quickly. I don't really bother decorating the front. So inside are more stickers. <laughs> I'm just gonna go through these. This is by Anne. Uh, this is a Tyrant sticker by CP. This is one I got from Jaycon. Uh, more from Anne, that's my own sticker. <laughs> this is CP. This is Kiwi, Kiwi sticker. And this is my own sticker. This is another Ray sticker. I'm not sure who's, who drew this, I'm sorry. I think I was given this by somebody. Uh, this is Grace, more CP, more Ellie, uh, more Chive, <laughs> more Ray, CP. Oh, this one's my own sticker. This is by Mizo. Uh, I love Mizo's stuff. She is hilarious. Um, and these are by Noni. Noni has perfect merchandise. <laughs> Um, another one by CP, love that one. Another Ray sticker, and these are my own dress up uh, Exy stickers. Onto the art. What I do here is I'd cut out random like drawings from different sketchbooks and stick them in here. Usually from sketchbooks I'd actually end up throwing away. There's not many sketches I keep. Drew this on dotted rhodia paper, which is super thin paper, but good for doodling. I was obsessed with dotted paper for a while, I think everybody was. This was drawn by Kiwi, and this is by Anne. They draw me a lot of things, don't they? I really like looking at this sketchbook because it's just so colourful and interesting. This washi was designed by Rene, or Laughing Bear. Her designs are always amazing. This is Washi, me and Anne designed together. Kuroko no Basuke. As you'd expect, um, <laughs> I designed some ping pong Washi too. So that's my ping pong Washi design. Uh, Anne drew me this pickle. Bit of Kingsman. Oh, okay, so Anne drew me this exe. Um, Shie drew me this. Uh, this is by Kit, this is by Jammer, and that's my own little Harry. More Anne drawings. Oh man, she draws me so many things. Block and break. Oh wait, got more loose things. That's it. Yeah, more stickers. Um, I'm gonna give you a quick sneak peek of my current sketchbooks. Uh, I'll do a full tour of these ones when they're finished. As a closing note, I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed looking into my old sketchbooks. I just want to say that I've collected some of my sketches into two sketch logs which are available to purchase on my store. Volume 1 is 80 pages, so it's quite thick, and Volume 2 is 50 pages. This volume includes drawings from 2013 to 2016, so pretty much everything you just saw but all the better stuff, all the more finished drawings are in this one. Um, and then this one is uh, last year's sketches, so you may not have seen any of these ones, but these are 2017 drawings. And they're both available on my store. I'm really grateful people have supported these um, and purchased these. I hope anyone who has these really enjoys them. So thank you very much, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one, whenever that's gonna be. <laughs> Take care.